What's up, YouTube? This is going to be the unboxing reveal of the 3D Motorsport manual clutch. Basically, this is a little diagram it comes, so if you want to rebuild the clutch, you can, and it shows you all the parts on the parts list. It shows you also different sprocket, tooth size, and um, inner spacers, teeth, etc. What you could get out for this clutch. Uh, I'm going to go real quick and just run through the the clutch uh quality wise uh pretty nice quality man like machinery work they took their time they didn't like build a hundred of these and then not double check a single one they, 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 they took their time on making sure these parts were built right assembled right uh it actually has sealed bearings pretty much everywhere sealed bearings real cool it's a little dirty because I was moving it around somewhere, but I got I got to clean all that up. I can't have it dirty. Um, it's a two disc uh, manual clutch setup. Uh, basically, these are for like go karts, drift carts, uh, drift trikes, uh, off road vehicles uh, for the two twelve Predator Honda clone. Uh, pretty cool. <clears throat> and the way it works is pretty much you gotta have this set here. And then this actually spins. You can't see it here, but this part actually spins. It's two separate pieces. One activates it, one deactivates it. And um, these two bolts here actually bolt up to here and then onto the plate to your engine. So it'll basically be like this to there. That connects to that. And it comes with all these uh the stuff that you need to put on your bike minus the cable and the lever but um you could use a regular bicycle brake lever and cable uh because of all the good stuff uh so basically this is a manual clutch just like a car when you run out of battery and you want to start your car you and your buddies push the car you go inside the car pop the clutch and then your engine will start. So this is a great setup if you're running a, a 212 um, motorized bicycle. Put a 3D clutch. You can actually pedal your bike. Let go of the clutch. Pop the clutch out. Spun your engine. Move your piston. Air. Gasoline. Spark. Your motor should start up. So this is a good aftermarket uh piece if you're going to go 212 motorized bicycle engine and keeping your original crank set if you're not keeping a crank set yeah a centrifugal clutch is the cheaper option but having that power of controlling and releasing your manual clutch it helps a lot you know uh i think it does i'm just really impressed 3d motorsports good product so far i'm definitely going to put this in trial on a uh 14 horsepower Piaggio motorized bicycle engine CNC bullet case uh, RDM uh, Basically, this is going to go on that uh, If you, you don't know what that is check it up. You can see it on my channel. Uh, it's my bike that I'm building uh, I'm gonna convert it to be on a bicycle So I'm gonna have to change the actual sprocket size because I want to run the motorized bicycles chain I believe it'd be better than running uh, this change changing the rear sprocket. I think it's easier if I just do that And basically I'm gonna do a how-to video to convert this for a motorized bicycle I think this would be pretty cool because uh, you have Like pretty much no clutch slippage because this is for a powerful engine You know this ain't gonna slip on a motorized bicycle engine. I don't believe so and then it, you could activate it deactivate it so you could actually pedal start your bike just like the original motorized bicycle um, kit you could uh, do the same so that's pretty cool if you if you ask me but if you didn't ask me attention to detail good quality
I hope you enjoyed my YouTube video. Also, a uh, big shout out to uh, 3D Motorsports uh, Manual Clutch Company. Honestly, I think they're very good. Their quality. Can't wait to use it.